My name is Ann Brand and I am a mindfulness teacher who works with the AIM Project as a mindfulness specialist at UW-Stout. You hear the word mindfulness a lot and it's like on the cover of Time Magazine and it's, but what actually is mindfulness? So mindfulness can be defined as a particular way of paying attention to our present moment experience as it arises right now without judging it um, and without being harsh on ourselves. So noticing all parts of our experience, what we're thinking, what we're feeling in our body, our emotions, and all the different sensory information that's coming in around us. And when we pause and pay attention to what's happening in the moment, it supports us in seeing what's actually happening so that we can make a skillful choice about how to respond to what's going on around us. Mindfulness practice is a way that we can support well-being for educators. As teachers are the heart of education, it's really important to find ways to support the educator so that he or she can bring all of their gifts and talents and knowledge to the table in order to support students in learning, development, and to help build community in their classrooms. Teaching is a relational profession. Students learn through relationship with their teacher and the teacher being tuned into the student needs so that they can respond in the most effective way to support that student. A mindful educator can shift the climate in the classroom without even teaching mindfulness to their students. Mindfulness is a human capacity. We all as human beings have the capacity to be present, to pay attention to our experience, and to cultivate self-awareness and self-understanding. I could tell you how beneficial this practice is, but where you really find out what the benefits are is from trying it yourself. One of the foundational tools of mindfulness practice is focusing on our breath. And one of the reasons that we often start with the breath is because our breath is always in the present moment. And so when we focus our attention on the sensation of our breath coming in and out of our body, it anchors us in the present moment and helps us train our attention to notice when we get distracted by to-do lists or thoughts or um, whatever is coming up in our experience to notice that we're not paying attention and focus our attention again on the breath. And so mindfulness of the breath practice is quite a simple practice where you focus your attention on the sensation of your breath as it moves in and out of your body. There's nothing special that you have to do, no special way to breathe. You just follow your breath. And everybody breathes. So this is something that every single human being can tap into. This capacity to use your breath to ground you in the present moment. And breathing and paying attention to our breath helps us to calm down. And so it's another way to help us manage our stress. So just following your breath, the sensation of your breath as you breathe in and breathe out. You can just do one breath at a time, focusing on what the breath feels like in your body and where you notice the feeling, like the swirling and tingling at your nose or the rising and falling of your belly with each breath. And that is the practice. And every time that you notice you get distracted from focusing on the breath and you come back, you're strengthening your capacity to pay attention. You're strengthening that part of your brain that supports you in paying attention to what's happening right in front of you. Mindfulness is a kind of mental training. So just as we tend to our bodies to make our bodies stronger and healthier, we can tend to our brains uh, and cultivate this capacity to pay attention to our present moment experience. But it takes practice. <laughs> you know, it's something that is a practice. So mindfulness is this capacity to be present, but mindfulness is also a practice where we practice paying attention to our present moment experience in this way. And as we practice it, we grow our capacity to show up for our lives. And we notice when we're not paying attention. And then when we notice what we're paying attention to or what we're not paying attention to, we can choose what we pay attention to. We can choose things that bring us joy.